today is the final day of Discover South Korea. Um, I want to just give the pros and the cons of the trip and whether or not I thought it was worth it. So if you're really interested in something like a South Korea trip, go back and watch some of the earlier videos because they will lay out kind of what we did over the seven days. And although this is a very specific EF tours trip, I think it's very similar to any kind of group trip you might do. I'm Mike Dalton, and this is Dalton's Detours. So what are some of the positives? To start with is just simply getting to see Korean culture. I think if, you know, obviously people choosing to go on a trip like this, you're going to love it. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. So that looks starting with that, just simply being in Korea, getting a chance to see it, taste the food, beat the people, all of that is positive. As far as the trip is concerned, I would say a positive was it was a fast paced trip, but it's very doable. Since we really spent most of our time, you know, four days in Seoul and three days in Busan, Jiangsu, that's just two bullet train rides. We weren't kind of jumping around the country with two locations, spent a lot of time there. I thought we spent just the right amount of time at museums and temples. Oftentimes, Europe trips included, it starts to become a little overwhelming. You're always on group tours. You're always getting, you know, if, you, if you've been on a school trip, you know the whispers and someone's trying to talk to you in a big crowded location. And we didn't really have any of that. I thought our tour director did a great job of explaining things to us before we got there and then just letting us walk around. And so that side of it, I really enjoyed. It was just the right amount of time. For me, the biggest pro is the communal group setting. So, and what I mean by that is, it seemed like every dinner, you had small groups at tables um, getting, you know, Korean barbecue or a big giant pot of uh, meat and noodles or whatever. And so you shared everything. And I think as a solo traveler, that might be tough. But when you're in a group setting, it's just so much easier. In that sense, it was probably the best food I've ever had on any trip. I would put Japan right behind it or right with it. But the Korean culture just makes it really easy to do school trip dinners. You know, I think that was a, a huge positive on the trip. The negatives or the cons. The biggest is the long haul flight. It's just, it's just a really long flight. Number one, it's, it's really hard. Number two, it takes up a lot of the time, you know? So this is a nine day trip and you're really only getting about six and a half days out of it. For a spring break trip, that is definitely a negative. It's doable within those nine days. Uh, we get off on the Friday before spring break, but it really crunches in the amount of things you get to see. And going kind of along with that, because of the quick turnaround, you really never get over the jet lag. You know, that is a very tough part of it. So just the fact that it's so far away, that in any other circumstance, if I were going to South Korea on my own, I'd like to go for two or three weeks just because of the long flight. So what are my final thoughts? Should you do a nine day trip to Korea? Well, first and foremost, the answer to that to me is simple, it's yes. If that's the only chance you have, not everybody's a teacher with months off, I get that. And you don't necessarily have the opportunity to go for two, three, four weeks. I'd rather do nine days than not go at all. So I do think it's worth it in that sense. And I would say on a trip like this, considering EF Tours has really only started these South Korea trips the last few years, I thought it was very well organized. It did not seem like a trip they were just figuring out. It seemed like a trip that they'd been running for a long time. So I think 100% it is, it is worth going for a short amount of time on an organized trip. If you've never been, kind of like I've never been, going on these organized trips the first time is very helpful. These are great ways for them to experience some place like Japan or South Korea. If you have an opportunity and you can afford it, they're not cheap. This is something I think people should do if they really want to. So really that's it for me. I mean, I'm not going to do any more videos on the uh, organized school trip aspect of South Korea. I may do a few more about some things I've seen, but overall, I hope that gives people some sense of, you know, the, the last seven videos I've done have given you some sense of what it's like to be on a school trip. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. I had a great trip. I can't wait to go back. Uh, in a few weeks, I'm heading to Europe, so I've got a completely different trip lined up. Hopefully you'll make it over there. This is Dalton's Detours.